You're an hell's angel, you, aren't you? If he messes with you, he messes with the whole Weatherfield chapter, right? Yeah, you bet. Sworn brothers. Sworn an oath of blood and, uh, and oil. Ah, what about you, Leslie? So this is how you're paying your debt to society, is it? Eh? How are you, Jim? Uh, I, I, I said to the probation people, if it's community service I'm supposed to be doing, then I want to do my bit for my own community in my own street. Is that right? Well, that's very commendable, so it is. And I told them that if I can't, they can send me right back to that judge and he can lock me up. Well, fair play to you. I know which one I'd prefer. Cheerio now. Eh? What's all this, then? Thought you paid blokes to break their backs for you. Oh, I still like to get in with a scrum when I can. Oh, I bet. I was looking for Councillor Roberts. Oh, come for a shampoo set, have you, Bob? Council business. You know what they call her down the council, don't you? No, what? Blue Rinse Roberts. <laughs> Does she know? I must be joking. She'd scalp the lot of us. Anyway, she's not in the salon, so I'll try and catch you later on at home. See you, Dougie. Uh, uh, try not to do yourself a mischief. Really. <laughs> I bet you, Dougie. Hi, right, Jim. <laughs> well, I must say, that's a first. Getting your boss to do the labouring for you, eh? Oh, well, you know, I am buying him lunch. And anyway, it's worth it. You see, uh, all the aching's going to take his mind off other things. Other things like what? I care six cast iron fireplaces. Oh, see, he's found out, does he? I'll tell you what, you want to watch it. He didn't get the nickname Crusher by uh, drinking orange juice, you know what I mean? Do you want a drink? There's a can in the fridge. No, you're all right. Look, I didn't want to talk in the pub because I felt the girls would be watching. They don't understand me. I mean, if any of their fellas had stood up for them like you stood up for me, they'd be delighted. But I don't see it that way. I can't see it that way. Because what you did, it really frightened me. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I know you didn't. Otherwise, I'd never gone near the wee lad. I just wish you hadn't done it, that's all. Yeah. I could have got you sacked. No. Wasn't that? Shouldn't have interfered with your own private business, eh? Trouble is, I thought we were getting close or so. Oh, we were. Well, what then? It's just that all of a sudden you reminded me of Laurie. It's exactly what he would have done. He terrified me. I know you don't understand, nobody does, but I just can't go through that pain again. The bruises may have gone, but I've still got the scars. I was just trying to protect you, I thought, you know from some jumped-up kid taking advantage of you. Protection. That's what it was all about. You know I never hurt you. I don't know, Jim. I want to trust you, but I don't. I'll tell you why you don't trust me, Gwen. It's very simple. I was honest with you. And I told you about an incident that happened in my past that I'm not very proud of. Well, maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. No, I appreciate your honesty. Surely has backfired, though, don't you think? I know that. I'm sorry. Do you think a man should be judged on one single action? Hmm? For the rest of his life? Don't you think he should have the chance to redeem himself? Second chance? Obviously not. Not if you're not prepared to give him the benefit of that doubt. I could have pulled that wee boy's head off so I could. But I didn't. I was in total control. And that's where I like to think I'm different from your ex-husband. It's not just you, Jim. I'm wary of all men. That's why I keep holding back. Well, Gwen, I hate to have to tell you, but every man you meet's going to have some wee part of his past that he's ashamed of. But it doesn't make us all criminals, you know. Or maybe you think you'd be better off hanging around waiting for someone who keeps his secrets to himself. Is that the crack? No, that's not what I want. Well, then you're going to have to learn how to trust again, aren't you? Yeah, I know that. But how? Well, it's not going to be easy, is it? It's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of time, a lot of effort. And how do you feel about that? How do I feel about what? About you and me, learning to trust each other again, step by step. Well, I should say I'm prepared to give it a damn good try. So am I. Come here, you big softie. <laughs> 